Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and this week I am using the Sophisticated Sled Bundle. This is an online exclusive bundle, which means you can only find it on the website, it's not in the catalog, but it is available to everyone. And it has these adorable skates and this adorable sled. Now I'm from South Texas, we don't know anything about sledding, but I can tell you I do know I love this bundle. It doesn't matter that we don't have snow, I still love to play with these kinds of sets. Um, this card is a fun fold card and it opens like this, like that. So the only stamping we're going to do is a sentiment. We're actually going to cut all of these pieces out um, from paper. So let's start out by doing that. Let me bring my cut and emboss machine over and let's see how many pieces we can get on here. Um, we're going to need those dies that I put over here. Uh, the first thing I've got is some of our Country Woods Designer Series paper. We're gonna cut the wood pieces from that. All right. And I will tell you, there's a piece on here, I'll show you in a minute, that I didn't use the last time. I don't know if I lost it or if I forgot about it or what, but I'll show you. And I think it looks okay without it. Of course, like I said, I don't know how to sled. I don't know anything about a sled. So maybe, maybe it's important. Probably is important. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put the uh, skates on a piece of white and we're gonna put, um, oh, also, so we've got the sled frame here on real red and I'm gonna do the laces. The laces are the cutest part of this set, the little laces. And then we've got the blades for the skates on silver foil. And then let's see if I can fit one more on here. This is the little greenery that's gonna be hanging at the top of our sled. All right. Now, I think we can run it all through. We're not cutting out any stamped images, so I'm not really worried too much about my dies slipping and sliding around. All right, so now let's get all of these out. Here are the little laces. We're gonna have to poke those out. And we've got the frame. And we've got the greenery. This is old olive. Um, we've got our blades. And we've got our skates. And last but not least, we've got our, our sled. Now, this piece right here that is stuck in the die is the piece that I left off last time. And it goes across the top of your sled. Let's see, you can use your take your pick tool or your die brush to get these little pieces out. There it is. And, um, there's some little pieces in here that you kind of want to just poke out. Get those out. Let's see, that looks pretty good. All right now, let's go back to those laces. I've seen all kinds of color combinations being used on these skates. So, you know, use whatever you want. If you've had ice skates in the past, maybe be nostalgic and make your your skates for this card to look like skates that you've had in the past. I've never ice skated. Again, <laughs> I live in a very, very warm climate where we don't have ice or snow. All right, we've gotta really just get all of these little doodads out. It won't be the same if you leave them in there. So make sure you get them all out. It's a little bit tedious. You wanna be gentle too because your paper can tear really easily. And this is the, just the, um, piercer uh, attachment for the take your pick tool. Okay, so now the really cool thing about these laces is that you're, there's a slit here like this and you're just gonna slide those in the slit like that and then boom, they're there. Now you can add some glue or you can do like I do, this is what I call the cheater method, get your dimensionals and just put it right on top like that because we're gonna attach these skates here in a minute with dimensionals. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone using the adhesive to both hold the laces in place and not have to mess with the messy glue, but also it'll hold our skates onto our card. Okay, so now let's bring these back over here and we've got these. Your uh, putty end of your take your pick tool is very helpful here as well. And um, one thing that I would recommend that I did not do is an adhesive sheet. 
an adhesive sheet, especially on these little blades might be helpful so that you don't have to mess with the glue in a tiny little area, which I'm gonna attempt to do if my glue will come out. There we go. Looks like we had a little clog there. Um, the putty end will help you pick them up and lay them right where they need to go. Okay, there we go. Now let's see, we'll do this one. And a, you know, a little bit of glue is all you need because it will squish out and you won't be very happy with it if it does. Let's see, let me close my glue and I'll pick this one up and lay it right there. Okay, so now we've got that. Over here for this, I guess we're gonna need that glue again. We are gonna attach this, and I'm gonna put glue here, I think just right here on these side rails, or the side of the frame, like that, and maybe just a little bit here and here. All right, and then we're gonna attach, whoops, we've got a little, we're gonna attach that get it nice and straight. Now I think I am going to attach this piece that I didn't attach last time because I think it's important. Let's see, does it go like that or does it go like that? I don't know. You guys from up north, you're probably yelling at me right now. I need to, I need to do my sled research. Okay. Whoops. Come on, stay. Again, um, an adhesive sheet, if you put it on before you put down your pieces, it makes it a whole lot easier to stick things down. You don't have to mess with the glue, which is really, really nice. All right, and then we'll put that right, whoops, my fingers are sticky right there. All right, now I'm gonna set that aside just for a minute. Let's give it some time to dry and we'll put together the card base. I am using a real red card base and this um, is a half sheet of cardstock scored at two and an eighth and at four and a fourth. Check my PDF. I have a free PDF for you for the measurements just in case. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, that's right. But you know, you can save the PDF, print it, and it has the supply list and the measurements for two other projects as well. All right, so you wanna do like a Z fold, and then you're gonna get a piece of designer series paper, which is gonna go right here, okay? We're just gonna put adhesive on this front flap, okay? And it's gonna hang over like that, okay? And then I've got a piece of early espresso that we'll put right there. Now this little mini card you think should open like this, but no, we're gonna open it this way. All right, so when you adhere it, make sure it opens up on the left side. You can center it right there. Now I wanted to add just a little bit of texture to my card. So this is some of our new vellum, our Seasons of Gold, Seasons of Green and Gold vellum. Um, it's white, so it's really um, light and you're not gonna see it necessarily from where you are, but it adds like, it looks like t uh, snow onto our card. All right, so then that closes over like that. Okay, so open and open. Let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Now, one caution with Real Red ink is that it is like glitter. It's, it's contagious. I always smear it. So give it a few minutes to dry before you do anything um, you know, if you slide anything across it. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's get our dimensionals. And I'm gonna put dimensionals here. Let's see if I can hide them back here like this. Put that right in the middle. Okay, and then I'm gonna get just um, a white linen or a white baker's twine bow. Okay, and I'm just gonna tie a simple bow. And we want the little, the little legs of the bow to hang down. It's okay if they're too long here in the beginning, we're gonna shorten them. But we wanna, we wanna make sure they're long enough. You know, there's a fine line between too long and not long enough. So go caution 
err on the side of caution and make them too long. All right, so put that right there. And then we're gonna take our skates, peel off that backing of your dimensional and take the first little leg and stretch it out so that, that it's right on top like that, like it's hanging on that string. And then you can trim off the other end of it from underneath. Okay, and then this one we're gonna take and we're just gonna kind of hang it maybe just down a little bit longer like that. And then we'll get up in there and trim the excess. How adorable. And then last but not least, we're gonna add some of these really cute adhesive backed berries. Now, right now they are um, out of stock, but don't worry, they are coming back. These are awesome. You will use these all holiday long. They look like this. Mine are almost gone, but you get white and cherry cobbler or real red. I'm not sure what, oh, yeah, cherry cobbler. Okay, and that is it. A fun, a simple fun fold that you can make for your Christmas cards. Let's decorate the season with happiness. Very cute. All right, click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. Let me know if you have any questions and happy stamping. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.